everyone welcome back to my channel i am sandy if you're new and welcome i am doing some hidden paper clip tabs i saw the idea over on spark bird studios so you can check out her video but these were so easy that i just had to give them a try and i love the results so let's get going this dimension here is ten and a quarter, and then this dimension here, it doesn't matter because it just depends on how many paper clips that you want to make. And um, this area, kind of right in here, will be one side of your paper clip. So you want to kind of think about what paper you choose, what images you have right here. So I'm going to see if this works. So what you do is you fold this to, um, you want to go one and a quarter inches this way. So you want to have that hang, hang over. And what that dimension then, this is four and a half inches this way. But it's just as easy to remember, you need an inch and a half overhang there. And then um, I'm using two inch paper clips and you put the long side of the paper clip on this side. Grab a few of these. And however wide you want your tabs to be, it, and it will dictate how many paper clips that you'll have on here. So say I maybe want a two inch tab. So I'm gonna go every couple inches. So I'll have this be in the middle, two inches. And then this will be in the middle. And then two inches. So this will go here, and here, and here, and I could have one little one here on the end, or a shorter one, if I wanted right there. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to make sure your paper clips are clipped, pushed all the way in. And you want to fold this back and the fold, you want it to be right along the edge of the paper clip. Just fold that. And then you'll have this little bit of overhang here. And then you fold this over. You could also cut this off if you think it's gonna make it too bulky, but it'll add extra support if you need it. So then you have this, so you got the paper clip there. And then this one you're going to fold back to the edge of this paper clip. Fold it all the way to the edge. Hold your paper clips in place. And you want try to keep this as straight as possible. I'll be trimming them. So not that super big of a deal. Okay. So you have you got one, two, three, four, five, six in there. And then on this side, 
you're going to take and fold it all the way to this edge here. And this will kind of create a little tab. Hidden paper clip. And so the paper, the hidden paper clip is over on this side. So it just slides right in there. And so now what's left to do is just to cut these up. And I'm going to be a little bit of exact. And so I'm going to trim these where I have the paper clip in the middle. They are about two inches wide. So just grab your scissors. You can make them smaller if you want to. I felt like I was cutting the paper clip, but it's just the thickness of the paper. So then there's your first one. And then I'll just cut all these down. And there you have it. Six hidden paper clips. And then what's left to do is just to glue them down. So you can glue all of this down. If you want to round the corners, you can round the corners. I don't think this will work in my corner rounder. I think it's going to be too thick. But let's just see. Well, that worked there. That's pretty awesome. If you don't have one of these, you might have to completely open this up and do each little section independently. Um, now, I can't get to this one, so I'll have to come back to that one. And then you might need to do just a little bit of trimming here and there if things aren't perfectly rounded. And then if you want to ink it up, but look how cute that is. That's super cute. Yeah, so you might want to do some of the other corners. I see that now. Just need to trim these two corners here so I am gonna have to take a paper clip off to grab those two so I'm gonna just make a little um, this is the short side of my paper clip and this is the long side of my paper clip so I'll put that back on correctly and what I needed to trim was these here There we go, and I don't know, I don't think I need to do those, because that'll be hidden. So yeah, I think I got all the corners. So then I put my paper clip back on, that goes on the short side, and that goes on the long side, and then this folds in, so I glue this. You can ink these up as well before you glue them. I'm not going to. So your paper clip is hidden. It can slide on and off your page very well. 
and then I'm going to glue this around onto the side. Perfect. Okay. And then we glue up the side. These are so stinking cute. I'll link the video down below of where I saw these. I've been wanting to make some hidden paper clips and I really like how easy these are. Look at that. That is just so stinking cute. Look at that. And see it sticks up. It's like a little tab. And there's another way that you can fold these so the paper clip goes all the way down. Um, you leave a little more space when you fold the paper and that way um, it'll go all the way down. But look how cute that looks with my um, painted cards. I'm obsessed. Okay, I'm going to make the rest of these. And I could still go ahead and ink this after the fact. Cuteness. Love it. And if you want to ink before you glue, you can certainly do that. These are adorable. All right, I'm going to keep making the other five of these and then I'll come back and show you the end result. Wow, that's just, thank you so much to Sparkbird Studios. And I subscribe to her channel, so if you haven't checked her out, check her out. That is so cute, love it. I wanna go find some more uh, scrapbook paper in my stash and see what other ones I can make. Oh, I think my patrons are gonna love these in their fairy garden journal kit. So cute. I wanted to show you, uh, I finished the other five of these and just kind of give you a look at how they turned out. And they're nice and sturdy. This was a pretty sturdy piece of scrapbook paper, but not super sturdy. So, and I ink these up. Um, I went ahead and I'll show you. I opened it up and I inked around the edges with my foam brush. And then I used a blending brush and kind of inked in so that none of the white can show. So hopefully you can see that there. Um, so yeah, so that's what I did. And I think that worked out, um, worked out well. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was um, to make it to where it's not a tab to where it doesn't stick up like that. Um, what you do is you fold this on the short side, but when you take it around over here, you, um, you take it to the end, but then you'll have an, over, an overhang there. So you fold this flush and then I just trimmed off that extra there. Whereas before, you know, you made it um, match up like on, I think I've trimmed all of these, yeah. So, but now when you put this on, it's completely flush. So the difference was I showed you in the video, you, um, you were to fold this all the way down um, and then it left a gap. But here I folded it completely flush and then just trimmed off the extra. So hopefully that makes sense. But um, 
So these are all going to be more of the flush uh, version to where they just go on flush like that. So I think either one is beautiful. I like them both, whether you do um, the tab or no tab. So yeah, so I've gotten carried away. <laughs> and I'll probably make a few more because I think these are really cool. Um, I think I'll probably make a couple for my mushroom journal and also for my fairy garden journal and put them in there. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Love y'all.